Hey there! Welcome to Crypto News Today, the best place to get the latest crypto news. If you're new here, we upload cryptocurrency content every single day. If you're already subscribed, it's great to have you back. So the time has come. Pi Network Main Net is finally live. The hardworking individuals at the news via their official Twitter page on December 29th. In today's video, we are going to talk about the implications of Pi Mainnet and how it will affect the future value of Pi Coin. Be sure to subscribe, smash the like button and turn on notifications to never miss our daily cryptocurrency updates. Before diving into the details of the Pot Mainnet launch, it's important to understand what the Pi Network is and just how far it's come to get to this point. What is Pi Network? Pi Network is a digital currency that tries to make mining accessible to everyone, even non-professional miners. This is in contrast with first-generation cryptocurrencies, which have been suffering from centralization and are now too expensive for all but the most experienced miners. The Pi Network enables you to start mining cryptocurrency on your mobile phone. The validation of transactions happens on a blockchain, and as such, it takes mere seconds to execute. And as if that wasn't enough, the mining process only requires the use of your smartphone's data plan and no installation or special hardware. For a while now, Bitcoin mining has been very expensive and damaging to the environment. However, Pi Network crypto development has made huge strides in sustainable mining processes. What Pi Network proposed to do was make a network for anyone to use and enjoy. The Pi Network app is user-friendly and doesn't drain your battery like others. The Pi app can give you Pi by completing simple tasks and joining the Pi community instead of using proof-of-work models like Bitcoin, Pi nodes rely on the Stellar Consensus Protocol to validate transactions. They reach a consensus on which transactions are added into a distributed ledger and in what order. Under SCP, Pi nodes form secure groups of 3 to 5 trusted people from the network's user base. These security circles build a global trust network that prevents fraud, as transactions can only be validated on the shared ledger. The Pi Network celebrated its inaugural launch on Pi Day, March 14, with a free Pi mining app, all based on the number 3.15. By the end of Phase 1, there were over 100,000 active users, and when Phase 2 launched a year ago, there were more than 3 million participants. On November 25, 2021, Pi Network announced 29 million users had signed up, which is a huge increase from 14 million in March 2000. PiCoin, also known as Pi, is a cryptocurrency that runs on the Pi Network. They follow similar principles to other popular cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Every few years of having taken place where the reward for mining Pi decreases significantly. To protect its scarcity. A halving event is when the new transaction bounty is reduced by half. The halving event usually occurs when a new milestone has been achieved, such as 100 million blocks mined. Pi's mining rate has from 1.6 Pi per hour to 0.4 Pi per hour. When it reached 1,000 users then has to get to 0.2 Pi per hour at 10 million users, it will have until it reaches 0 at 1 billion users. Main net is here. According to the Pi Network team, the Pi main net is live. This means that enclosed network phase is started the period when the Pi main net is firewalled off from the internet, but still allows interactions between people, apps, and Pi Pay. The Pi wallet now supports both testnet and main net balances. However, currently, everyone's balance on main net is zero. As more Pi on, ears finish KYC, they'll be able to transfer their balance over to the main net. Stay tuned for the KYC solution, which will start verification soon. Pi Network's vision is a peer-to-peer -peer payments platform, an economy that allows people anywhere in the world to conduct transactions without regulation, exchange fees, or interference. Fueling the strategy are long-term goals that will allow Pi Network to succeed. Reaching the goal includes growing the network and making Pi accessible for everyone while still keeping blockchain safe. An important distinction is that the Premier that process was focused on growing the network and distributing Pi tokens, whereas with Mainnet there will be rewards for various contributions from pioneers. Early on, the focus was ensuring that the network got off to a solid start by securing and building up as much as possible. Creating a large number of users is very important for any network, so it makes sense that this was an early goal determined to make Pi the most widely used cryptocurrency in the world. 
global distribution and accessibility for anyone interested are paramount for the success of the Pi Network. Creating a level of scarcity was part of the Pi Network design, and each time, the network size increases by 10x the Pi mining rate has. There are over 30 million pioneers now, and once the number reaches 100 million, the next halving event will take place. Pi Network retains the option to stop mining completely if the network reaches a certain size. However, this was not exercised before Minet, hence leaving the total token supply open for now. The Pi coin supply will always stimulate growth in the Pi Network. As a result, mining rewards will still exist after the main net, but in improved ways in order to promote participation. With supply being undetermined during the PremNet period, there will be some problems for when the project enters its main net phase. This includes validating and defining contributions, mistakes, and rewarding different contributions, and maintaining scarcity levels. Pi Network is adding a clear max main net supply to the network because supply on the premet is too dependent on network behavior meaning that there is no clear limit with the current network size of over 30 million pioneers and the expected transaction numbers in the future. The maintenance supply model has a finite total supply of 100 billion pi, which means that it's incentivizing future growth and contributions while also removing the unpredictability of the amount mined. Pi Network will stick to their 2019 white paper allocation, with pi coin holders owning 80% of all coins, while the pi core team members possess 20%. This means the Pi community will receive 80 billion Pi and the PiCoin team will receive 20 billion. It's important to note that Pi Network is not allowing ICO allocations or running any crowdsourcing sales. With regard to mining rewards, 6 to 5 billion Pi will be rewarded for past and future mining. Past mining rewards total around 30 billion Pi. Because of mining done by fake accounts, this number is likely around 10 to 20 billion Pi. The rest of the 65 billion will be allocated to Pioneer's mining through the new main net. Ahead of the main net launch, Pi Network needs more contributions from all members in order to become a true ecosystem and continue its growth in the main net phase. Pi Network wants to achieve many goals that include decentralization utilities, stability, and longevity. The Pi Network's goal is to create an inclusive peer to peer economy fueled by Pi cryptocurrency. Rumor has it that the launch of the open network economy will happen when the KYC criteria are met. This might even start on Pi Day, March 14, 2022, Pi 2 Day, June 28, 2022, or at a future date. The open network is simply when the firework in the enclosed network is removed. This will permit outside connections to other wallets' networks, and people who want to plug into the Pi main net API won't be firewalled, meaning pioneers can control their own services and Pi nodes as they please. Pioneers will be provided with a connection to other blockchains, and community-run nodes can also control the main net features. These are just some of the awesome new features Pi Network has in store for their main net. So what are some Pi coin price predictions for 2022 and beyond? Well, coin market cap and wallet investor currently list Pi coin at $0.777. Back in March, Wallet Investor gave a Pi cryptocurrency prediction of $0.132, with a low being $0 for 3. But as of now, it's not updating its forecast. Thanks for watching and please do not forget to drop your comment below and hit the subscribe button for more updates.